Neharakan. Thanks for clicking. In this lesson today, we are going to look at some informal phrases with repeated words. Now, have you ever noticed people repeating the same word? Well, that brings you a new phrase altogether. So, in this lesson today, we are going to look at some informal phrases that you can use in your casual conversation with repeated words. Now, if you use the same word once, it means different. But the moment you add the same word again or you repeat the word, you get a new phrase altogether, which means completely different. So that's what we are going to look at. I have 10 casual phrases that you can use. So let's get started. The first one that I have for you is chop chop. So what does this really mean? Now, if you look at the word chop, if you use this word just once, then the meaning is to cut, right? To cut something, to cut vegetables, to chop vegetables. But the moment you repeat the same word, which is chop chop, you get a new phrase, which actually means to hurry up. So when you want to ask someone to make it fast or to hurry up, you can use the phrase chop chop, we're getting late. Okay, so husbands especially can use it for their wives because women take a lot of time to dress up. So if you want them to hurry up because you're getting late, then use this phrase, chop chop, we're getting late, we'll miss the movie. Okay, so when you're asking someone, to hurry up, you use the phrase chop chop. Let's move on to another phrase which you can use knock knock. Knock knock. So what does this really mean when you use it in English, when you use it in your conversation? Now it has two meanings. Firstly, you might have heard about the popular knock knock jokes. Maybe you crack them all the time among your friends. So knock knock is actually the first liner of a joke. Okay, there are too many knock knock jokes that you will find it online. And the other way that you can use knock knock is when you want to ask someone to get aside or you want someone to hear you out. Okay, so just like you use excuse me please you can also use it in a very casual way, in a very informal way. Knock, knock. So you're like, knock, knock, hear me out. Okay, so knock, knock is basically when you knock at a door. It's the sound of knocking at a door. But you can also use it when you are asking someone to excuse you. Okay, so rather than just saying excuse me, another different way is knock, knock. All right, let's move on to the third phrase, which is tut tut. Now that sounds a little funny, but what exactly does it mean? Now when you are extremely annoyed, okay, and you want to express strong disapproval towards something or towards someone, then you say tut tut, like tut tut, that's enough, okay, because you're annoyed and you are expressing strong disapproval. For example, your kids, at times they annoy you with their demands and parents get a little annoyed and they want to show disapproval, they want to express strong disapproval. So they can say, tut tut, I am not gonna take this, like I am so done with these demands. Okay, so that's how you can use this expression. Let's move on to another one which is now now. Now now is also used to express mild disapproval. So this one is a little more of strong disapproval, especially when you're annoyed. But now now is a mild version of disapproval.
again when you don't agree with something and uh, you disapprove of something or someone then you can say you can say that now now that's not a good behavior okay now now that's not acceptable okay so it's a milder way of showing or expressing disapproval let's move on to the fifth one which is here here now when do you use this again you use it in a very informal way but you can use it when you want to show a strong agreement towards something especially uh, when uh, you are debating over something and you agree to a point and uh, wholeheartedly you're like yes you know that is absolutely correct so rather than showing this you can use the expression here here so here here is like absolutely right you completely agree with it so you use this expression to show wholehearted agreement towards a speech or towards a debate Okay, so an agreement towards someone or something, especially related to a debate or a speech. Let's move on to the sixth phrase that I have for you, which is there, there. When you see someone who is upset or is crying or a little unhappy about something, then it's time for you to comfort them, especially kids. This expression is perfect for adults. Uh, that they can use it for unhappy kids. So when you see a kid who is really unhappy, then you'll be like, there, there, everything is going to be fine. You will feel much better. So there, there is a way of comforting someone who is unhappy. So when you want to comfort a baby, when you want to comfort children, then you can say, there, there, everything is going to be fine. Okay, let's move on to another phrase, which is AA. So what does this really mean, AA? Well, AA is yes or sure. It's an old fashioned way of saying yes. It's more of a naval language you know when captains uh, used to order and the navels uh, used to agree or they used to be like hey hey captain so they used to say oh yes yeah, sure captain so rather than saying yes they would say a a so it's more related to the naval language okay let's move on to another phrase which is so 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 when do you use this phrase so-so? Well, when something is not very good and neither it is very bad. So for example, someone would ask you, so Neharika, how was the movie? I would say it was so-so. So so-so is like the movie was not that great, but it was not bad either. Okay, so something moderate. I went to this new restaurant last weekend and the food there is absolutely so-so. So which means that it is not amazing, it's not that great, but it's not bad either. Like yes, you can go visit that restaurant too. So something which is moderate, you end up saying or using the phrase so-so. Okay, let's move on to another phrase which is 50-50. 50-50. Well, when do you use this expression? Well, again, when you are not sure about something, okay, maybe something will happen and maybe something might not happen. So it's a 50% chance. Okay, so for example, hmm, the weather looks fine. So, well, the rain, it might rain, but I'm not sure. 
50-50. When someone meets with an accident, the doctor says that there's a 15-50 chance of survival. So, which means that either he or she will be fine or he might not be fine. So, the chances are 50-50. When something has 50% of chances, you can use the phrase 50-50 okay and then the last one that i have for you is well well now when do you use this well again you can use it in a casual conversation because it's an informal phrase and you use it to show sarcasm or to show mild surprise like for example you had a fight with a friend and this friend of yours said that i am never gonna come to your house ever again and the next party, you see him at your house. So you're kind of surprised and you also want to express sarcasm. Then you will say, well, well, look who's here. Okay, so you are being a little sarcastic. And of course, you are quite surprised as well because this friend of yours said that he will never show up. And look, he's here now. So well, well can be used to express to express mild surprise or to express sarcasm. All right, so these are the 10 informal phrases with repeated words that you can use in your English conversation. And I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.